Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug Senicides, also known as Sena or Senecot. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Senicides are an over-the-counter treatment option for constipation. Before we get into how senicides work, let's very quickly take a look at our large intestine. Normally, the material that we consume eventually passes through our large intestine, and that material usually still has some extra water and electrolytes that the body can still use. So one of the functions of the large intestine is to help draw out or reabsorb some of that excess water and electrolytes as the stool is passing through. And the more water that the large intestine pulls out, the less water there is in the stool. This is known as decreasing the fecal water content, which essentially hardens the stool. This is normally a good thing. It helps to prevent excessively watery stools and the loss of electrolytes. But what happens if the patient has constipation, if their stools become too hard and difficult to pass? One way that we can fix this problem is to give senicides. Now the exact mechanisms of senicides are not entirely clear, however, senicides are thought to act by restricting the reabsorption of water by the large intestine. This increases the fecal water content, making the stool move more easily through the large intestine. Senicides also stimulate peristalsis, which is the involuntary constriction and relaxation of the muscles of the intestine, creating wave-like movements that push the contents of the intestine forward. Stimulating peristalsis can help patients with constipation. This is why senicides is considered a stimulant laxative. So like we mentioned, senicides can be used for constipation. It is often administered for relief of occasional or short-term constipation and not given long-term. However, it may also be used to treat constipation resulting from diminished colonic motor response in geriatric patients. It has also been cited to improve the quality of colonoscopy preparation alongside magnesium citrate. Senicides are most often administered as an 8.6 milligram oral tablet. Dosing varies between two to four tablets one to two times a day. Senicides is usually administered once daily at bedtime, as it tends to work within six to 12 hours. Senicides are also available as a liquid oral solution. It is generally recommended not to take senicides for more than one week without direction from your healthcare provider. It is less common, but still possible to get nausea, vomiting, and possibly rectal hemorrhage in more severe cases. Senicides may also cause discoloration of urine or stool to either a yellow brownish color or a red violet color with no pathologic significance. However, always notify the healthcare provider if discoloration does occur. Intestinal fluid loss can also occur, which promotes dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, such as hypokalemia and more. So what are some of the contraindications and precautions? Stimulant laxatives should not be administered to patients with undiagnosed abdominal pain. This is because stimulant laxatives are contraindicated in patients with appendicitis or bowel obstruction. So avoid stimulant laxatives in patients with undiagnosed abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, or other symptoms of appendicitis or bowel obstruction. Always look out for signs of dehydration in patients taking laxatives, especially in elderly clients. Be aware of the potential interactions with senicides. Avoid natural licorice with senicides, as they both can cause hypokalemia, which may worsen when taken together. Also avoid any other medications that are known to cause hypokalemia, such as some diuretics, corticosteroids, and more. And that's about it for the basics of senicides. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.